Hey, real listen to two, real listen to game time, ZPO. Your boy is back. This your boy ZPO. It's your boy Ty. And we back with another one. What are we getting into? Like, this is yeah. like what Ty and ZPO uh, sports commentating right yeah. here. So today we're getting into uh, Josh Gordon being reinstated. I felt like for the last like six years, I've always, I've heard of Josh Gordon getting suspended, getting suspended, getting suspended. Like this man has received so many chances back. But, you know, just to say with, you know, marijuana and stuff becoming legal in a whole bunch of different um, states and everything, I mean, it's only right, I would say so. But I definitely think that a lot of these teams keep on thinking that, oh, yeah, we're going to get that uh, Cleveland Bra Cleveland Browns Josh Gordon where he went over 1,000 yards. Yeah. And for me personally, I feel like he's already been given, like, multiple chances and he has not reached that 1,000-yard season again. And I think he reached that season back in, like, 2016, 2015. Yeah. Some shit, so. Um, for me, I'm, I think this is really dope that they're going to reinstate him, first mm -hmm. of all. And he's going to the Chiefs, which the Chiefs are a talented team so far. I mean, they've lost two, but, I mean, Chiefs as a whole, mm -hmm. very talented. Patrick Mahomes, I mean, on his way to be a GOAT or whatever. But, I mean, I just think – I feel like teams probably see that, okay, he talented and, like, obviously he's yeah, a star, but he just need that on. he need that discipline, I guess, for, you know, whatever the, whatever the league is saying. And he just need to – Stay committed to the mm -hmm. shit or whatever. And I think it goes both ways with how the NFL does it. And, I mean, of course, in his decisions. Mm -hmm. But, like you said, you know, marijuana becoming illegal in, in most, you know, parts of the of the country now. It, I think that's in his favor. And, I mean, you know, it's not even on him. It's a whole bunch mm -hmm. of athletes in general who probably maybe get away with it. You never mm -hmm. know who's slipping through the cracks and what's going on. So, mm -hmm. I'm happy for my man. So Yeah, we're going to watch some of these clips and we're going to kind of, like, talk, talk uh, through some of this. There's Bosa over the center. And here's Russell Wilson. And he gets go. a strike to Josh Gordon. Patriots waved him goodbye. There's oh, Hill I forgot State. that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro. Yeah. bro. He didn't been with like five teams. Exactly. He was with the Browns, uh -huh. Patriots, Seahawks, and now the Chiefs. He might have been on another team, too. Oh, for might have been somebody else ran him, too. So. I feel like he needed like to be somewhere for multiple years to finally like reach that reach that like prime. Back yeah, I agree. Then. Yeah, not no oh yeah first year boom boom we're gonna put him in and he just I mean bro yeah. any team he goes to he a weapon obviously I mean. Yeah. I just don't see like for him I don't see the explosive plays like all the way how. For like DK Metcalf or whatever, he would catch this, break that tackle right there, and keep on going. All these clips that I've seen, it's just clearly like possession. Catch the ball, get tackled, and it's down. I just think the game is, is a lot different now as far yeah. as like, you know, passes. See, look, and, yeah. I mean, like, he's not breaking no tackles to me. I think a wide receiver now is mostly just about, oh, yeah, let me just get this shit real quick, and then we're going to keep it, we're going to keep it down the line. So. I mean, yeah, he getting open instead of yeah. catching it or whatever. But I'm just saying, I feel like what makes you dynamic is is being able to the make strength, make yeah. plays and and you know and break tackles and stuff too. In the uh, what did they say? The yak yards after catch. Because I ain't seen none of these clips where he he didn't caught the shit and oh yeah, I'm breaking. <laughs> yeah, like I'm saying, I'm breaking some tackles. Let me see. Tackle. But I mean, that was still a good play though. Wide receiver nowadays just be kind of more about just just get open. Yeah, well, it ain't even that. Dog. It's like being a running back. It's yeah. almost being a yeah. running back when you get the ball. Like, yeah, you gonna catch it, but like you need to be like breaking some plays. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Cause everything I seen won't even like really over like fifteen to twenty yards. Ah, ooh. Securing it to the ground. What a catch! What a throw by Russell Wilson. I know Pete Carroll. Damn. To see this that was a catch, too. Yeah, that's a finger tip. He does it in spectacular fashion there. All right. Um, so, like I said, you know, hopefully when he goes to the Chiefs, um, you know, he'll be able to get the, you know, get the ball. I don't really feel like, for me, I feel like personally, yeah, it's a good situation to go into, but it's not a good situation to go into because they already have established receivers on it. So yeah. he might be like number three, number four on the death chart because yeah. they got Tyreek. Um, I forgot who the other the other receiver is. Unless somebody's hurt, which I have to figure out if somebody's hurt. But 
Yeah, I just hope. Um, I think it probably gets to a point just with professional football. Like, how many teams gonna want to put up with with your potential? You know what I'm saying your potential bullshit. That's what it all come down to. And I mean, lucky for him, not not that many people get this many chances. Yeah. So you know, on that side, I hope you know this time is actually successful for him. But overall, he talented, always been talented, and mm-hmm. just bring his bring his crosses yeah. and time. He he get tapped in all the way. So yeah, for me, I feel like that. Seattle at first was a really good um, a team for him to go to at first because I mean he had Russell Wilson and I think he was there before DK was and I think they had Tyler Lockett uh, yeah. who's their receiver and I don't really know I think another dude named something Baldwin or whatever but they didn't have like another receiver so I felt like you know if he would have um, I guess done better and not got suspended and stuff then he probably would still be with. Seattle. Um, that's my whole thing, and I think he had opportunity to be a good number one or number two there. Um, and Seattle, a yeah. solid team. That's what I'm saying. Seattle, solid team. Seattle's a solid team. I, that's why I kind of want to. I kind of want to match this up with him just being on the Chiefs now because they're another solid team yeah. overall. So. Yeah, but I mean, you know, but I'm saying though, he, he's not going to have the opportunity to be yeah. a number one or even a number two. He's probably like a number three. So I, he he might as well have went to like uh like I think Baltimore. They still like kind of iffy with receivers. Um. He could have went to uh, like the Texans too, because I think the Texans don't have like a solid, real, real solid receiving corp either. So you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, but this this could have been the only team that would have picked them up with True. the Chiefs. So because Andy yeah. Reid, you know, is infamous of getting troubled players and Facts. and they're good. Yeah. So shout out so, Andy Reid, yeah, yeah Andy Reid to go. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, so y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Y'all let us know too, like. What do y'all think the prediction for Josh Gordon is going to be for the season? Is he going to get suspended again or anything like that? I think it's going to be good with the Chiefs. You think he's going to have a breakout year? Boom, sign with another team. He's good for a while. What do y'all think? Let us know. We out. We out of here. Thanks for tuning in to the channel, Ty. And ZPO. You could have watched any video in the world, but you chose to watch ours. Yes, sir. And make sure you take time. Check out the links in the description. Check out our music, music video, all the content we got to offer. We'll keep it rocking. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir.